Uh, welcome back. I haven't done a video involving uh, my costume in a while, but I decided to get, get back on it. So, uh, first things first, I'm doing some changes to the helm before I start actually uh, getting ready to install the visor and paper mache. It. Well, paper mache first, then the visor. But, anyways, so here's the helm right here. And these were the little side things that I had on first. These are my little rough draft ones. And as you can see, they're not that impressive. So, I made these ones right here. As you can see, they're much bigger than this one. And they also are more in-game accurate, as I'll show you. And if you guys can see on this splash art, it's like rounded right here. And it comes back here. And if you notice, on the side view of my helmet right here, put it back on the side, and it will stick out like that, which is going to be cool. And then here on the side here, spin it over so you guys can see it. Now it'll look like that, but a little bit down further, so it'll look like that. And also have the little piece on the um, on the top here. So, I'm gonna get these cut out and sand them a little bit and glue them on, and then we'll get on to the next step, which is going to be covering the helm in masking tape. Because if you put paper mache or foam, it has a tendency if you haven't sealed it or covered it in some way for the water to soak into your foam and like mold will grow or it will like get damp or whatever but we're gonna make those precautions and uh, get them out of the way so anyways i'm gonna cut these out and we will move on to the next step so i got these cutouts as you can see there they are and they are much bigger than the previous ones by like almost 50 percent as you can see here these are the little side things on the helmet so we'll take the helmet here like so it's going to sit just like that and i'm going to add in the detailing piece right here before i put these on so i'm going to take my sheets of black foam and I'm going to make two of these so it makes more of a uh, raised section on here so when I paper mache and masking tape over it it'll still keep that uh, shape maybe I'll, I'll even do three but just to get a little raised portion because covering it with a paper mache and uh, masking tape I'll lose the detail so I'm going to get these cut out and I'll get back to you in a second. So, I just got done removing these, like, like, like I said in the previous uh, part of this video. And I was going to add them on to my helmet. And here you go. Here is a more game slash splash art accurate Yasuo helmet. And there's the side profile. There's the front with the wings and look on the back here there's that well I mean that was the top view my bad and then here's the back view there you go and here's where I'm gonna put the wig for the costume but here we go so there you go all set for uh, covering in masking tape so I'm gonna get that done and I'll show you what I'm doing next see you guys in seconds I'm just gonna show you my progress so far I've used quite a bit of masking tape got this at Lowe's by the way in case anybody wants to know but to show you the progress I've made on the helmets got a lot of it covered up this is becoming 
quite hefty. It's probably going to add more weight once I get the visor, the electronics, or well, the battery. It's not really, well, yeah, it's the electronics. <laughs> Anyways, um, as you can see, the, hel uh, the top of the helmet is way better than before. Got to fix some more areas, but it's looking really nice. So, I'm going to make this a little bit stronger because I'm going to be cutting into this so I can put the visor in. That's going to look really awesome. I'm probably going to have the electronics inside here, and this is EVA foam, in case you guys have not been following my uh, progress on my costume. But, got lots more to do. Probably going to put quite a bit of uh, masking tape on here for a nice base. And like I said, make sure to always use masking tape for uh, your cosplay or any film art projects because when you uh, paint my share over it, it's not going to have a, well, for one, it's not going to have a base for the paper mache to stick to. This is going to be like bendy if you don't have a masking tape on it. And it's also gonna, probably going to mold and seep into the uh, foam here. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Got more progress videos coming up. I'm going to be working on the armbands. Um, I'm going to be painting some uh, products and then um, also going to be working on my sword so thanks for watching guys got more more videos coming